Gio, who is live from Newark Airport. And Gio, how can travelers take full advantage of the check-in process before they even get to the airport? So, Michael, you want to go ahead and check in right away as soon as that window opens within 24 hours of that flight. Just use that airline app and go ahead and check in. You'll avoid any issues. You'll also get access possibly to any upgrades, and you'll do that very, very early depending on your status. I also want to show you this because you may not even need an app to check your flight status. So this is a message here from my producer, Clara, on my iPhone, and it says United Airlines 6020. That's a flight that's in the air right now. You tap that. You preview you the flight you get all of your flight information right there without using the app okay wow. so once you're there at the airport what can you do geo to get your luggage through as smoothly as you want to get through so, Robin, one of the cool things about this, I love this, the ramp director here at Newark actually told us about baggage hygiene. You want to make sure that you're removing any old stickers because this, these stickers that are on from previous flights, they could actually send your uh, baggage to some other airport. You don't want that. You also want to make sure that you don't have any ribbons on this. A lot of people put that on to identify their baggage. You don't want those ribbons to go ahead and cover your tag. And one thing that I love to do for carry-on, I like to go ahead and take out any food or baby wipes or whatever you may have that may trigger the alarm. You want to take that out and separate it before you go through that TSA line because that way, if it is flagged, no big deal because it's already separated and you'll get through it a lot faster.